how are you doing? My name is Clarice. Thanks for tuning in for another DIY day video with me. I welcome you if you are new to my channel. If you haven't subscribed already, be sure to do so because we do a lot of awesome DIYs in this channel. I have been obsessed with chandeliers for a very, very long time. It is in my logo. It's been in my room. Every single house that I have been in, I have brought my chandeliers with me. And I was so inspired by this one chandelier that I put up in my bathroom. I've been wanting to take it outside because as you all know, with my previous videos I've been doing a lot of outdoor decor and I'm just enjoying the time that I have out there so I wanted to make it a little bit more pretty and obviously put my favorite thing in the world which is a chandelier I thought that I could just literally make one so that I don't have to move that one from my bathroom outside so I was looking all over Pinterest I got inspired by so many beautiful chandeliers so this is a DIY that I'm very excited to share with you because I love it so much I hope that you enjoy this tutorial and let's get going to it. So the main thing that we'll be using for this DIY project are these party beads. You've seen them everywhere and they come in fours, the ones that I got at least. So I used about 34 of them. So that is nine packages. So we're going to cut them so we end up with long pieces like these and there's definitely a more efficient way to spray paint these beads but I laid them down in this plastic and I definitely learned the hard way. I definitely suggest maybe hanging them from a hanger so that it's easier for you to paint it. So I'm taking this outdoor paint and it's great because you can use the chandelier outside and it's not going to get wrecked. I got this one from Michaels, definitely use your 50% off and we're just going to spray paint that until it dries and do a couple more coats. As you can see, I've had to flip them over just to do the other side and it's just a complete mess. So hang them up somewhere else so that it's better for you to spray paint it. For the base of this project, we're going to use a hanging plant basket, which I just got from the Dollar Tree. We're going to spray paint at the same color of our beads and wait for it to dry and then spray paint it another coat. While our beads and our basket are drying, we're just going to take a mason jar lid and this is going to hold our beads up, which we're going to put on top of our chandelier. I've taken some jute twine and I'm just going to wrap that around this lid. I'm also taking a barbecue skewer and we're just going to cut that so that it fits right inside our lid and this is going to hold up the chain for our chandelier. I'm actually going to put in two to make it stronger and you're just going to secure it with some hot glue and so when you're done you're going to put that through the top chain of our plant basket. It may look like this and tilt on the side but don't worry it's going to balance off when you start putting all your beads. I've added two more skewers to make a cross just to make it even more secure. So once your beads are dry, it's time to start gluing them on. And the first place that we're going to glue it on is behind the mason jar lid, just like so. And then we're going to go ahead to the middle of our chandelier and glue that down. After that, we are going to the very bottom and also gluing that down, making sure that it is a straight line all the way through. Now for the first couple beads, you're going to want to play around with them to see how droopy you want your chandelier to be or how tight you want it to look. I do suggest to not just put all of the beads on one side at one time, but to also switch it up and put it on the other side so that it's easier for you to work with. And then that's when you can start filling in all the gaps to see where you can put more beads. I'm cutting the bottom a little bit shorter. You can choose to keep the bottom or to take it off. Either way looks good. I'm also going to outline the plant basket with the beads across just like so. It just adds a little bit more of a definition to the chandelier. I'm also going to droop these beads down like this all the way around. When you're taking off bits of the excess glue gun off of your chandelier, you may find that the paint will start to like come off of the basket. If you want to simply just wait until the very end to spray paint the whole thing, you can go ahead and do that. I did have to go in and spray paint it again to give it a more finished look so that everything is all blue and I love the way it turned out. You can add some battery powered fairy lights or some LED candles just to make this a chandelier look so bright and nice at nighttime. 
What did I tell you? Isn't it so gorgeous? I love the color. I love the shape. It's so beautiful, so versatile. You can use it for any room in your house or even outdoors for a beautiful outdoor wedding even. I'm honestly planning on making like three or four or five maybe even, I don't know. Make sure that you let me know down below in the comments what you thought of this DIY. Of course, if you loved it, give it a big thumbs up and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.